Okay, I showed you a named kill. One of the things that illustrates that you may not, rangers and rogues in this expansion are doing incredible damage against trash because most of these mobs can be headshot or assassinated. The ranger I was grouped with and I were neck and neck in damage. He was edging me out a little bit. Maybe it was gear, I have pretty good gear. But he might have had better, but it wasn't. It was very close. And we're doing double the DPS of other DPS classes in this case against trash that can be headshot and/or assassinated. And there's a lot of them in this expansion. Against named, we drop down to our normal DPS, whatever that is, because you can't headshot or assassinate named. Uh, against this particular mob, I did 836,000 DPS. I don't know where I was on my rotation. Seems decent. I like to hit a million. Um, often you get in a million, you can do maybe a little bit more. But against name, that's, you know, you're not necessarily going to do that great. I have a one chase weapon and one tier two group weapon, just so you, you know, for your information. So as I may have mentioned, the Rogue, in my opinion, is the easiest class to play um, at a fairly high level. Now, it's not necessarily easy to play exceptionally well. That's a different, you know, if you, there's a lot of techniques and things you can do to excel. But in terms of just being in a group, doing great DPS, and being able to take a sip of your cup of coffee occasionally without worrying, this is the one. Hit one key and you're attacking. Yeah, actually, there. Attacking, one key. The Z key, you can do whatever you want. I have the Z. All of these are um, hotkey to Z, and since they're all instant discs or AAs, they all go down at once. I also have Thieves' Vision. Sometimes that goes down. Sometimes you hit it a second time. You don't have to do that all the time. I just throw that in. So I don't have to think about refreshing Thieves' Vision every 10 minutes. Got Intimidation. I took Blinding Candescence out because that six-second blind is also a mez. And if you're working with a pet class, that can be a big problem. Instantly, the pets will stop attacking, so you don't want to do that. On the other hand, it's a really nice disc if you want to sneak and hide up to a pair of mobs hit one with blinding condescent, it's mezzed, you run away, this, the mob that's not mezzed follows you, hit escape, you've just dropped aggro on the mob behind, it's going to unmez itself in six seconds, and you've singled, you know, you've quickly split a duo without a lot of rigmarole. Now, if it's three mobs, or four mobs, or five mobs, you're going to want to use smoke. You can either drop, go... You know, hide and seek, right up to the group, drop your smoke, and then uh, target one and hit it with either your practice dagger throw, that is your timer nine dagger, or shadow hunter's dagger, that's the 102 timer one dagger. Both of those will pull a single without ruining smoke, which when it fades, the other mobs are going to lose aggro. There's a lot of little ticks, tricks to pulling, but these are a few. Um, 
I had hide sneak as two keys. I got tired of pressing two, so I went ahead and redid my shroud button, which is attack off, do ability one, do ability two. You still need these here because if, for instance, you have just one down and then you do this, they're just going to toggle. You're not going to have the clean thing. It works really well when you're coming off attack, for instance. Because, uh, or if you have them both down and then you hit shroud, they will be off because it, it toggles them. But it doesn't, you know, in, there's no like do ability one on, do ability two on. Let's see. I kind of dismiss this, but this is my defense key. It actually works really well if you're not, if you don't have another disc up. Agile Footed Discipline lasts a long, long time, and it will let you, you know, you're not going to turn into a tank, but you can survive a hit or two. Or if your cleric has aggro and you want to pull aggro onto you, this can be quite effective. I definitely can survive a few more hits than I would otherwise. Phantom Assassin, use that anytime you get aggro. Unseeable Discipline is a great aggro dropper, but you can only use it if you don't have another Discipline up because it's, um, it is an effect that has the Discipline. Let's see. Ligament Slice, I put that in and I take it out depending on where I am. Outdoor Zones. Usually not a problem, but for some reason in indoor zones with Senti, uh, a lot of times that blind will cause the mob to turn and just start walking away. And he might bring friends. So I take it out in certain circumstances. Let's see. I have this over here just so I can see when it's down because I've used up all of this. I guess those are a few of the tricks I've mentioned. Shadow Strike is your rogue synergy. It's probably the most important thing in your Ziki. Um, Amosket is nice because you'll see he is stunned for a certain amount of time. Beguile is another aggro dropper, but it's, it's a fast refresh, so I put that in the mash key. Backstab should be auto. In my experience, I feel like it doesn't automatically backstab as often as it could it refreshes it'll be up for a little bit and so if you hit the z key throw that in there it might give you a few more backstabs let's see i guess that is what i wanted to say the rogue is a great class and I feel like I'm going to get some hate from rogues because they're going to be like, this is a difficult class to play well. Fine. It's a difficult class to play well. But you are not pressing as many buttons with this class as you are with many, many other classes. Especially any caster who is just constantly casting spells, wizard, necromancer, mage. Um, the Shadow Knight, you are constantly pressing buttons, doing spells. You are busy, busy, busy. Warrior, you would think that would be a class that you could just sit behind and turn on attack and maybe throw a few uh, discs, but it's turned into a button pressure. Presser. I would say it might be the second uh, class, but you're also going to always be actively tanking. Here, you get behind the mob, you hit attack, you hit your mash button. If you want to put a burn up, you put a burn up, and then you can just lean back in your chair. Switch mobs when you need to switch mobs. That is all. I will talk to you guys later.